What's up gamers? Today we are going to talk about all the updates with Skyblock and Roblox. Um, they added a bunch of new stuff this last update, uh, including a couple of new weapons. And today I'm going to show you um, how to go about getting the ingredients for those weapons. So the first is uh, this war axe. It requires three crystallized iron, steel rods, and iron. Um, those are different than regular iron, but you get them the same way. Crystallized iron looks like this. So it is a rare drop from iron rocks. Those um, rocks could be like these that accumulate around an iron totem. Or it can be iron that you find in the lobby, mining in the mining area in the lobby. They drop randomly. I went grinding for some iron. It took me about 30 minutes to be lucky enough to get some crystallized iron. Next item we're gonna talk about is the hammer. And for that one, it requires a buffalo core crystal gilded steel rod and 40 gold. The gilded steel rod takes another 20 gold um, to manufacture that. So a total of 60 gold and the buffalo core crystal. So to get the buffalo core crystal uh, you'll need to kill the new mobs on the buffalo core island. They take about um, 15 hits with the hammer, about 20 hits with the axe. Um, to take those down and uh, it is a very rare drop um, I was grinding for about two hours in order to find the second buffalo core crystal that I have oh um, so the uh, the iron war axe um, does less damage than the hammer I've I've gotten buffalo core crystals with both weapons you, there it is not dependent on which weapon you're using in, in order to get the buffalo core crystal and then also with this update they added a new gilded steel axe and a gilded steel pickaxe. These are very expensive in terms of the amount of gold that they take to craft. Um, this one requires five gilded steel rods and like I said before that's, those take 20 gold each for each rod so that's a hundred gold needed to craft that which isn't just the rods plus an additional hundred gold for a total of 200 gold to craft the gilded steel pickaxe. Um, the gilded steel pickaxe still takes uh, four hits to take down uh, the iron deposits. It takes about two hits uh, for coal and three hits for stone. Uh, one other update they added is the industrial stone cutter. And that also takes a buff core crystal and eight steel rods. And as an added bonus, I'll show you a trick on how to make use of your um, industrial chests to make short work of converting your gold ore into gold. So uh, I have a coal set up here, come across, and for this industrial chest we're going to change the direction to out, and this will all feed through the industrial smelter, and then this will be my industrial chest in. And so what you can do with this industrial chest out, you can actually load it up with Hold or. Let's do Katana as an example. And I'll just, just feed those out. And then, let's see, I'll add some coal here. And then there's the gold on the other end. So rather than doing one by one, this is a way you can 
utilize the chest and um, do up to 40. I, I tend not to try and do that many at a time um, because they do kind of get bottlenecked in the, in the smelter. Um, and then with gold ore in particular, I don't want it to fall off the conveyor belt on the floor and lose it. So I try and watch it. Um, there you go. There's a little extra bonus tip for you. Um, hope that helps. And uh, as always, if you found this information helpful, please like and subscribe um, to our channel. We'll see you next time. All right. Bye.